Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and I was always told out of voice for radio. So today, I want to share some more what I think, at least, is good news in terms of the Pokemon trading card game. You see, there is a really good website about tabletop gaming and other things, icv2.com. It's a website I play around on here and there because I'm a huge fan of tabletop gaming. And this is a site where if you are a huge fan of tabletop gaming, you should probably be checking on a fairly regular basis like I am. And what caught my attention was that they have started doing a listing of the top 25 sealed trading card game products. What really, however, has gone and caught my attention is the fact that unlike previous lists, the list that they just published for January 2021 is dominated by Pokemon. And when I say dominated by Pokemon, I mean dominated by Pokemon. 12 of the top 25 sealed products, that is 48% for anyone who wants it like that. 0.48 is a decimal. We, we get it. The point is, that's how much Pokemon is taking up of the list. Pokemon is absolutely dominating. The top three products are all Pokemon TCG. Four of the top five Five of the top seven, it is a Pokemon world, and we're all just living in it. I will show you some previous lists at the end as a little bit of a comparison, so we can see exactly how far Pokemon has come. Now, there is a fairly large caveat that needs to be put onto this list here, and that is that ICV2 have gone and taken this list, or compiled it, I should say, from prices over at TCG Player. Now, for those of you that may not be aware, and I know that a lot of you watching this channel will be, but TCG Player is an online store, but it is an online store where a lot of different people can go and sell. It is not just one person selling at RRP. So, it's not just the actual RRP of the products that matters here. It is the selling price of the products. So, if we take the top two products on the list, and I think if you think about it for a moment, you can probably guess what they are. They are the Hidden Fates Elite Trainer Box and the Shining Fates Elite Trainer Box. Now, this shouldn't really surprise anybody. I mean, these Trainer Boxes, the Elite Trainer Boxes that we see for these special sets, they are very, very popular. Now, they retail for $50 rather than $40, but they have in them, amongst other things, 10 packs of the set. And both Shining Fates and Hidden Fates are super popular sought-after sets. And a promo card. In the case of Hidden Fates, we are talking about the EVV Max which is exclusive to the box, can't be got anywhere else. And in the case of Hidden Fates, we've got the, well, the stained glass window version of the Bird Trio. Now, the Bird Trio as a card can be pulled in Hidden Fates, but the special version here can only be pulled in this particular Elite Trainer Box. So that's why the Elite Trainer Boxes are always more popular. If you can pick them up, they've got lots of packs in, which is good. But they've also got the promo cards. And as sealed products, they tend to keep a bunch of their value. And if we take a little bit of a look at the top of the table, shout out again to ICV2 for collating this. This was their work, not mine. I'm just analysing it. We can see that they are number one and two, but they ain't $50 products. At the start of the month, the Shining Fates Elite Trainer Box was selling for $99. By the end, it was selling for $145. And a Hidden Fates Elite Trainer Box was starting selling for $116. And finished the month selling for $175. Now, the Hidden Fates Elite Trainer Box, I can almost justify. Because it is becoming a very hard to get product. There are little reprints here and there and people are finding it in stores. But it's been out for a while and it can be quite hard to get. Though it is still turning up in stores, you will sometimes get lucky and just find it on the shelves. I have not, unfortunately, but you can. Shining Face Elite Trainer Box, however, isn't actually out until the 19th of February. Now, as I record this, that is tomorrow... 
as I'm looking at my current upload schedule, this is probably actually going up a couple days after the release. We'll see how it turns out. So by the time you listen to this, it should be out. But it's a $50 product. And people are trading it for, well, $100 to $150. That's two to three times the price. Before it's even come out, this is the very definition of scalping, where you are essentially buying up or hoarding the products, depending on who's selling, whether it's a store or an individual, so that you can sell it on at a higher price to the people that want to buy it for RRP. And we talked about this a couple of times, but my advice with scalpers is always, if you can, and I know not everybody can, but if you can, ignore them, because they will then be forced to sell at a reasonable price. So, my point here is that Pokemon has made it up to the top of the list here, but they've made it up to the top of the list not necessarily because of sales, although obviously sales is going to be a big part of it. You know, Shining Fates Elite Trainer Boxes, the reason they're up so high is because they are all selling, and because they are all selling, it means you can raise the price, and they're still going to sell. In cheerier news, the number three product is a Battle Styles Booster Box. And it started the month at $115, and it ended the month at $128. But actually, if we look at the RRP of a booster box, now booster boxes as a whole don't actually have a, a standard retail price. I mean, in the UK, we say RRP, recommended retail price. In the US, you folks tend to say MSRP, manufacturer's standard retail price, same kind of deal. But if the packs are $3.99 each and there are 36 packs in a box, then that means boxes should cost $143.64. Oh, so we're actually about $15 under. And okay, that's not a huge saving, but we are at least below our RP here and that's pretty gosh darn good. Now, we are going to skip over the non-Pokemon products on this list for fairly obvious reasons. I am sure the Caldime Collector Booster Display is a brilliant product, but I do not know enough about Magic the Gathering or this particular product to give you a proper analysis of what it is, what it should sell for, why it's so high, etc. So we're going to skip to the set that really rounds out the top five, and that is the XY Evolutions Booster Box. And this is one of the things that has really driven Pokemon up this list quite dramatically. Because it started the month selling for $460, and it ended the month selling for $890. That is an absolutely ridiculous, ridiculous price. Now, I've run the numbers so you don't have to. That represents a 93% increase in price in the space of one month. That is absolutely ridiculous. And here's the thing about evolutions. And the funny thing is, when you talk to older players, the exact same thing happened with Sky Ridge. And Sky Ridge is now one of the most sought-after sets in the Pokemon TCG. Booster box for that, you are never going to see that for below a grand again. The idea of that being below a grand is kind of hilarious. But Sky Ridge and Evolutions both had their time as the set that nobody wanted. And then something happened and the price just kept going up. I remember for a while, Evolutions was featured in every sealed product. And the fan base as a whole were getting very upset about the fact that we kept getting Evolutions. Evolutions has been overprinted. Evolutions is a trash set. We don't want Evolutions. And then about the same time as it really kicked off in terms of people going crazy for the base set, a bunch of other people basically decided, maybe the same people, basically turned around and went, well, you know what? If we can't buy the base set, let's go and buy Evolutions. It's not a million miles away. And the price of that set has been steadily climbing. And we don't really know if the price is going to crash or keep rising and rising and rising. But I'm not sure now is a good time to buy booster boxes of Evolutions. The set is going to keep going up in the short term, but it can keep going up forever. And sooner or later, you've got to imagine it's going to crash. Do you want to be the people that spent two grand on an Evolutions booster box? Honestly, that might end up being a good deal. I don't really know. We've not seen a set in the Pokemon TCG rise this dramatically, at least in recent times. So, one to keep an eye on. 
but I suppose we shall see. There are a couple on here that make a whole bunch less sense. On number 7, we got Vivid Voltage Booster Box. Started a month at $141.95, which, as we said, is about what we should be paying for a booster box. Ended at $24,795. Don't spend $250 on a Vivid Voltage Booster Box. I told you this the other day. Pokemon have gone and made an official announcement. They are reprinting some sets. I have it on very good authority that Vivid Voltage is one of the ones that is being reprinted. Not only that, but it's the most recent set. It is the only set that we know for absolute certain is definitely, definitely going to be reprinted. Why would it not be? That makes absolutely no sense. Champions Path Elite Trainer Box still coming in at number 12 here. It's risen from $70 to $80. That is, of course, another one of these special booster boxes or elite trainer boxes where you get your 10 packs and the promo. This one specifically being the Charizard promo. And here's a Charizard promo. But although this was very hard to get hold of initially, and then it was very hard to get hold of initially, do please remember... This is one that just keeps being reprinted. I'm talking to a bunch of shops all the time at the moment, trying to figure out what's going on and when cards are going to be available, etc. And the fact of the matter is, these are still being printed and put onto the market. Shops I've spoken to were getting a new run of this this month or next month. These are coming out all the time. So... Again, this is a product which is more and more available. The fact that it's, you know, $70, $80 rather than $150 odd like the others should tell you what you really need to know about that. So, yeah, I, I think we'll probably be okay with that one. That's another one of those. If you're a little bit patient, you should be fine. It is interesting that the sealed product has gone so nuts for Pokemon lately. This really is just a little bit of proof, essentially, that what we've been seeing and what we've been thinking is happening really is. But make no mistake about it. At the moment, we've talked about this. Supply is very low for all trading card games. And everyone is being impacted by the damn panic. But I tell you what. Pokemon is the one that is really, really making out here. Now, what I find really interesting, if we go back to, for instance, December, and just focus on the top 10, there are four Pokemon products in the top 10. The highest one is your Vivid Voltage Booster Box at number 3, but you'll notice it started at 180 and dropped to about 140, i.e. the highest selling Pokemon sealed product was... The RRP, essentially, Vivid Voltage Booster Box. Champions Path Elite Trainer Box came in at number 5, $65 to $70. Again, slightly above RRP, but it's out there, so it's really not going up that high. Evolution's Booster Box was around $460. It actually dropped by about 5 bucks in December. Although, like we said, we've gone up, it's gone up 93% since. And the Darkness Ablaze booster box was in at number 9, 134, but then down to 112, which again is it's a fair bit below recommended retail price. Which essentially means in December, Pokemon weren't going nuts, ladies and gentlemen. It really was not going nuts at all. And Magic was really dominating more than anybody else. You know, Magic had three of the top four. But with Shining Fates on the horizon and everything going on in Pokemon at the moment, January saw an absolute explosion. And when we look at the top 25 sealed products at the moment, it is very, very much Pokemon's game at the moment. Which is kind of cool. I don't love the products being sold above RRP, but let's be clear, they're not all being sold above RRP. But I do very much like seeing Pokemon doing so well and selling so well. Now, if we could just stop the scalpers, I think we'd be probably doing all right. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about all of this. I want to know which products you've picked up and which products you're excited about. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Me nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at Lawasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching... ETCG Radio.